if you look at an effect um, and you want to explain it, you want to explain it using the historical scientific method by reference to a cause that is known to produce that effect, the effect in question. So when we're looking at the origin of life, uh, many biologists, biochemists, origin of life researchers in particular say the central thing that we need to explain is the origin of the information that makes life tick, that makes it run. What runs the show in biology is information. Much of it encoded digitally in the DNA molecule. We're also learning that there's other forms of information organized hierarchically in other parts of the genome and even beyond the genome. But it, it, it's very, I used to ask my students, you know, if you want to give your computer uh, a new functionality, a new function, uh, what do you have to give it? And of course they knew, code, you have to give it information. And it, the same thing is true in life. If you want uh, to produce life in the first place, if you want to develop a new form of life from a pre-existing form of life, you have to provide information. And so the question is, where does that information come from? And uh, original life researchers are in particular acutely aware of this problem. Since 1953, when Watson and Crick elucidated the structure of DNA and also showed in subsequent years that DNA functions like a digital code in a section of software or even a section of alphabetic text. Uh, that th Once they established that, then that raised a question. How did that feature of life arise? If you're going to explain the origin of life, you've got to ex explain its salient features. Its salient feature is arguably the presence of digital information in DNA. DNA encodes the proteins that do all the important jobs in the cell. So where did that information come from? Since the 1950s, Origin of life biologists have realized the central thing they have to explain is, is the origin of information. Model after model has stumbled uh, or even come to a grinding halt, has failed to explain precisely that feature of life. And so as I got into the, the topic of the origin of life, I realized that was, that was really the central question. And as I was studying how scientists develop their theories to explain the origin of the first life, I, I realized that, that uh, that what was needed was a causal explanation for, for that, that feature of life. And I began to think more about this dictum that, that Darwin and Lyell had that we should be explaining things by reference to presently known causes, presently acting causes, and I asked myself the question, what is the presently acting cause of digital code? What's the, what's the known cause of information generally? And what we know from uniform and repeated experience, which is the basis of all scientific reasoning in the past, about the past, is that, is that information always comes from an intelligent source. Digital information, for sure, we know it comes from programmers, but information generally always comes from an intelligent source. So by using Darwin's rule of reasoning, I concluded that the best explanation for the origin of the information necessary to build the first life is actually intelligence, Intelli what we now call intelligent design.